I've been doing a lot of traveling. I've been doing a lot of international traveling. I've been going out of the country a bunch, which has been a great experience, but not for the people who meet me. I'm, a, I'm American. And you guys, I don't know if you could tell by my BMI that I am from America. I was born and raised here. I'm not bragging. I am the stereotype of what other countries hate about Americans. Right? Like, if you see a poster for a bad American, it's just me. Like, that's it. Right? Like, I'm overweight. I'm loud. I'm cocky for no reason. Yeah, like every country I go to, I'm like, we're here. Boots on the ground. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's how I, I can't, I, I don't want to be like that. It doesn't matter where I'm going, I just land and I'm like, where's your Mexican food? <laughs> They're like, you're in Europe. I'm like, you put cheese in something. <laughs> I need a quesadilla and you got one. <laughs> That's what I do. I go America on people quick, right? Do that too. Like I went to Canada, which we can all agree is not another country, right? It's not. <laughs> It's not. It's like the same kind of, right? I think of Canada how I think of like my grandma's attic, right? right? Like it's higher up. It's a little chilly. I feel like I have to be quieter. I'm like, I don't think they like brassy broads here. I went to Canada once. I go right across the border to Sault Ste. Marie. It's this tiny town right across the border. And uh, I went to a gas station. I went to use a $5 bill, right, at, for, at the gas station. And the guy wouldn't take it, right? And I'm like, I don't know international law. I'm like, I can see my border. You have to take my money. I believe that's the law. And I said, it only works one way. You, we can't use yours. That's crazy. <laughs> he wouldn't take it. I start freaking, I go America real quick. I'm waving this $5 bill around. I'm like, do you know who this is? I was like, this is Abraham Lincoln, right? He was a great man. He was our 11th president. And he goes, uh, he was your 16th. <laughs> oh. I went to American public school. <laughs> we don't learn about that there. <laughs> Apologize to your king for me. <laughs> Tip my top hat. They wear those there, right? I don't know. <laughs> I've been to a lot of cool places. I went to Guantanamo, Guantanamo Bay. It's a naval base on the opposite side of Cuba on an island. I don't know why I did that. Like, I don't know if that's the shape. <laughs> it's an island. You guys know that's the sign language sign for island. <laughs> you just have to believe me. <laughs> just said it. That makes it true. <laughs> I went to Guantanamo, which was cool. I did a show for the Navy there. And it was, it was cool. We went there. It's a tropical island. They have all kinds of crazy wildlife there. Like, they have iguanas that get, like, six feet long. And they have these things there. They look like giant guinea pigs. They're, like, this big, and they run around the island. And I was asking the guy we were with, I said, what do you call those? Like, what are they? And he goes, we call them banana rats. Yeah, and I said, do you call them banana rats because they eat bananas? And he goes, no, we call them banana rats because their poop is the size and shape of a banana. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I am a banana rat. <laughs> Got you. The first one. It's all right. <laughs> I never knew. Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.